old chicken nuggets, it's me Carl. Welcome back to another page turning TV. Welcome to Grow TV, we're page turning. <laughs> Welcome to Grow TV. Hosted by Carl. Where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now, once again, welcome to TV. Well, well, well. Hey there, kiddos. Can't tell you how excited I am for today's episode. I mean, last week I got told I couldn't leave my house for a whole month. Now, I'm not going to lie. At first, that scared me. I mean, what is a person going to do in a house for a whole month? That would drive them up the wall. I mean, I don't like cleaning. I'm not a good cook. And I mean, you can only nap so much, am I right? So I decided to read my Bible, and that was the greatest decision ever. Not only did I learn so much, but I had an incredible experience. You know how like you read or hear of a really good story and like your brain gets sucked into it and you feel like you're really there? Well, that really happened to me. I mean, I was taken into the world of the story. That was incredible. So today, I thought it'd be cool to try it again. See what happens. You think it's a good idea? Me too, let's try it out. Hmm, what story should we pick today? Let's see, the plagues of Egypt. No, I'm scared of frogs. What about David and Goliath? No, that might be too intense for me. Ah, let's do a story from Jesus's ministry. Last week, we talked about a story that happened at the beginning of his ministry. So why not look a little further into the future? All right, got it? Here we go. Whoa, this is incredible. Hey, I see a big crowd of people over there. I wonder what's happening. Oh, hey there, Carl. Grace, it's so good to see you. How are you? I'm great. I'm so glad to see you've made it back to another story. Right? After last week, I couldn't stay away. Are you seeing this? Oh yeah. Looks like you're in Luke chapter 9. Really? How'd you know? Well, for one, I can see your Bible still open. Oh yeah. Duh. <laughs> also, it looks like the mountains are just over there, and the big crowd with Jesus made me think that this probably happened right after the Transfiguration which is when Jesus was on the mountain with three of his disciples and they saw Moses and Elijah and even heard from God. Oh yeah, you're right. I do see Jesus and the disciples over there. What do you think they're up to? Oh, well, this is a magnificent story. It all starts with Jesus coming down from the mountain and then a father comes up to him. Jesus' father like God? No, <laughs> this was a different father that lived nearby. You see, his son wasn't feeling well, and he needed Jesus' help. Oh, okay, I got it. But wait. What? I was on the mountain with just Peter, James, and John, right? Right. So? Well, that means the rest of the disciples are down there with the crowd. Yeah, and? Well, couldn't the disciples have helped the father out? Well, the father said they had tried, but it didn't work. Oh, so Jesus was going to help him. He sure was. Now his son was very sick, but not the normal kind of sick. Oh, did he have stinky feet? <laughs> not quite. You see, just like the Holy Spirit lives in us and is a very good and loving spirit, well, this boy had a very bad and evil spirit in him. Oh no, that's awful! It really was. It would cause him to have seizures and yell. There was something really wrong. That sounds awful, but what did Jesus do? I can't see from here. Well, the boy was brought before Jesus, and then the evil spirit inside of him made the boy have a seizure. Oh man, that's terrible. I bet the boy is scared and confused, huh? I know I would be. Me too. But that's when Jesus saved the day. Really? What did he do? Jesus walked up to the boy and rebuked the spirit. Wait, he what? Rebuked the spirit. What is a rebuke? Well, you know how your mima gets on you for scooping peanut butter for your PB&Js with your hand? <laughs> yeah, she gets really mad. I mean, it just makes sense to scoop it up with your hand. You don't have to use a knife and the leftovers are on your fingers, so it's like a little reward. So it's a win-win. But she doesn't like when I do it, and I always get in trouble for it. Okay, well, anyway, it's like that, but much more severe. Jesus firmly rebuked the evil spirit, telling it to leave the boy alone, and guess what? It worked? It worked! The boy felt much better and was returned to his father. 
<laughs> Let's go! Way to go, Jesus! That's really cool. Makes you wonder, though. What's that? Well, if Jesus can do amazing things like stop evil, I wonder if I could do that, too. That's a good question. What do you think? I don't know, you know? I mean, I've done pretty cool things before, but doing what Jesus did? That seems kind of tough. I know what you mean. God created humans to do some really neat things. I mean, think about it. People can do backflips, make music, and we can even build rockets that go to the moon. But... But what? But only God has complete power over evil. That's why we pray and ask for Jesus, God's Son, to help us when we're faced with tough things. And when we are filled with the power He gives us, we can overcome evil too. Wow, that makes all this feel so much better. What feel better? All this, making friends, going to school, living life. I mean, if Jesus is God's son and he can overcome all the things like all the bad things in our life, I mean, what's stopping me from living the life that God wants me to? You know what, Carl? I think that's a great mindset. And I'm sure that's exactly what God wants us to do. Oh, hey, the crowd's moving. I wonder where they're off to next. Well, mm, whatever it is, it smells delicious. See you later, Grace. Well, hey there, bookworms. Did you all enjoy today's story? Because I know I did, and that's what brings us to our big idea for the day. It's God is more powerful than evil. So, here's what we will do. Let's put our hands like this, make it look like a closed book, and when we open it like this, we will say the big idea out loud together, okay? Ready, one, two, three. God is more powerful than evil. <laughs> Great job, kids. Now next week we have a super cool story and I think Carl is up for quite the adventure. And guess what? You're invited. I'll see you then, okay? Bye. Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of Pro TV.